Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! Well, you guys are in for a special treat today because I'm going to be showing a really nice townhome. But what is special about this townhome in Charleston, South Carolina, well actually the Somerville area, is that it's one of my investment properties. So be our guest and welcome in. Yes, you guys, this is one of our investment properties that we have on Airbnb and VRBO. And as you can see, it says Good Heart Realty. Of course, I am Dominique Hart, your premier realtor here in Charlotte. And I also service the South Carolina area as well. All right, so this is a three bedroom, two bath townhome. And as you enter the property, you see the hardwood floors, which is carried through into the living space. So let me let me show you this um, show you this house, you guys, because I'm pretty proud of it, and I decorated it myself. And I was going with a farmhouse theme, you know, just very clean lines, not a whole bunch of detail. I just wanted it to be. Um, modern farmhouse so we have a queen bedroom in this room actually this is the bedroom on the first floor and i went with all white linen i don't know about you guys but when i'm staying at a hotel or an airbnb i don't really want to see pink linen or pink comforters i want to see white nice and clean white linen we have smart televisions throughout the whole home and again i didn't go too far with the decor i wanted it to be nice and clean and you know, just easy. Uh, this is a nice closet. It's nice and deep, and guests have really said that they enjoy this space because they're able to come in and unwind and unpack, and the closet is there, and it's nice and deep. So now we're going out to the hallway. Um, but first, let me show you guys this bathroom. It's really nice because it's on the first floor, and it's great for our guests that are on the first floor. So the hardwoods continue in this room nice shower tub combo oh you guys have to see this granite i love this granite i will put the name of this granite in the drop down box because we do have guests that have always asked about the granite and um if i know the name of it so i'll put that information down below so yep this is a uh full bathroom and guests really do enjoy it out to the hallway space but wait a minute before we go into the living space the home does have a full-size washer and dryer and yes i have to put instructions on the washer and dryer because believe it or not some people still do not know how to use these appliances and i don't want them to tear up my washer and dryer because they are smart washer and dryers okay so we're going into the living space and I tried to do a lot of seating in this area um, just you know to accommodate bigger families or smaller families I just wanted wanted it to have a lot of seating but here's my favorite area of the house so this is the outdoor patio space now for a townhome you'll see that that yard goes all the way back and that's one of the features that drew me to this property. So this is a, a very relaxing space here in Somerville, South Carolina. A lot of our guests love the fact that they can bring their pets and they can just run around and play in the back. You know, we try to keep this area nice and clean and it's just a really great time out here and it's very peaceful. And oh, look at there. Somebody used the grill on the property. We do not allow for grills on the property for that reason. So if you guys know of a solution to get that smut off of the concrete, please drop it down in the comments below. But here we are back into the living space. This is the living area. Again, smart TVs come throughout the home. Nice and clean. I wanted a pop of color, so we went with the royal blue chairs. The accent chairs but yeah just a ton of seating here and inside the kitchen all white cabinets I love white cabinets because you can really match a nice granite or marble with it and that granite from the bathroom actually falls through to the kitchen it's really nice and sleek we've gotten a lot of really great comments about it the 
The Sphinx is nice and bright. I love that window over the sink. It gives lots of sunlight, especially early in the mornings when you come down for coffee. It's been really great. That's a pretty cool light fixture as well. So yeah, stainless steel appliances. Um, you know, the house is loaded with everything a guest can need. Pots and pans, silverware. Here we have a nice deep uh, pantry. So this space, I still haven't fully figured out what I want to do with it. Mostly guests will leave their shoes on these crates or maybe leave their dog um, supplies over there. But there's already so much seating in this space, I didn't want to put more seating. So we have seating at the bar, we have seating in the dining area, we have seating in the living room, and also on the patio. So I'm not sure what I can do in that little nook. You guys drop that in the comments and let me know what you think. Somebody did mention maybe making it like a coffee bar area, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, now let's head on upstairs. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys. I really love the fact that you can access this bathroom from the first floor bedroom. So that's been really great for our guests. It's nice and private. You have that first floor bathroom downstairs. Yep, I'm loving it. Nice and cozy. I love that uh, table, that nightstand. Nice and rustic. I guess that was kind of my theme, kind of mo modern, farmhouse, rustic. I don't know. Maybe I just made that up. <laughs> Going up. Okay, so now we are at the second bathroom. Full bath, just like downstairs, nice and deep, nice spacing. This bathroom actually has double sinks in it. And it still has the uh, hardwood floors, and it does carry that same granite. Love that. Yeah, I didn't overdo it with the decor, you guys. I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. This is the king bedroom. So this is a king bed. Um, I love the colors. It's not too bright, but I still incorporated the white with it. Nice nightstands on both sides. I'm not a horse person, but I did love that painting, so we put that there. You guys are never going to believe where I got all of this furniture. This was a one-stop shop. You guys, I got everything for this home from Big Lots. I'm talking everything. Nice deep closet. Hangers, iron, iron board, beds, mattress, box springs, uh, everything, lamps, pictures. The comforter set I may have got from Amazon. But yes, televisions, of course. I think we got those from Best Buy. But all of the furniture and little knickknacks, it all came from Big Lot. So you don't have to, if you're looking for an investment property, you don't have to go wild and spend a whole big budget. Even if you're furnishing your own personal home, take your time and price things out. This is the third bedroom. I love this bedroom. This is a queen bed. And again, I went with white linens. I wanted it to look nice and fresh and farmhouse style. But this bedroom also comes with a sitting area, which is really cool. And our guests really seem to like it. Again, big lots, that dresser. And then again, we have a nice deep closet. I love closets. I want like a dream closet. That's what I'm working on. You guys, I am currently building a home um, in Charlotte. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. If you're looking for a great realtor, I'm here. I'm willing to help you. Let's do this thing. I mean, it's 2021. Let's get you into your new home. Let's get you into your new town home. Let's get you into your new condo. I got you. And, you know, I dibble and dabble with 
home decor, so there's that. <laughs> All right. Master bedroom again. Yeah, everything came from big lots. And we are happy with everything. You know, this was my, our very first investment property. We have two others in Charleston. We also have one that we're working on here in Charlotte. So, um, whether you're looking for a primary residence or you're looking for an investment property, I'd be happy to help you and to be your realtor. So excited to share this with you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll leave all the details of things that I got in this house down below in the drop down box. But uh, again, you guys, Happy New Year. We will chat again soon. Bye.